If you're looking for a microphone that has excellent sound quality, is budget friendly, meaning that it's not gonna break the bank, and is easy to set up and use, then why not check out the P461S from Mono. So this little microphone here that's peeking its head from the bottom of the screen is the PM461S USB cardioid microphone from Mono. I'd like to thank for providing this for me to review. Now obviously you can see it here peeking its head through and you can obviously hear what it sounds like. So let's get over to the unboxing so we can get a closer look at this microphone and see what else comes in the box. So this is the Mono PM461S USB microphone and boom arm set. Let's get inside the box and see what you get. So as usual, you get the user manual and you get a Mono branded pop filter, which is made out of metal. You get a shot mount. You get an adjustable table clamp. You get some two cable grips. You get an adjustable microphone stand, which fits into the table clamp. You get a USB to USB-B cable. Finally, you get the Mono PM461S microphone. It's actually really lightweight for a microphone of this sort of size, usually made out of that heavy sort of metal, but this actually is quite, quite light in the hand. It's a cardioid microphone, which means that it's going to allow sound in from one direction only, and that's this front one through this front grill. So despite it having grills on this side and the back and the top, you're only going to allow sound input from the front here. And when you want to adjust your sensitivity, there is a gain dial here, which you can go for the minimum and the maximum there. At the bottom of the microphone you've got the USB B slot and then surrounding that you've got the thread there which goes straight into the shock mount. Now with this one unlike others you usually get a ring that you adjust on the other side of the shock mount but this is fully contained and you just screws just screws directly into the shock mount like that and then it's in and it sits nicely on the shock mount. Let's go and test it and see what it sounds like. So this is what the raw audio of the Mono PM461S sounds like directly out of the microphone. I've plugged it directly into my Mac Mini and it's plug and play. So how easy is that? And I'm using the program Audacity. I'm about 20 centimeters away from the microphone and I've got the gain dial roughly about halfway between the minimum and the maximum. So if we can turn down the minimum, we'll go all the way down to zero. So if I do that, I'm turning down the gain, you probably can't hear me there. There's probably no sound coming out and I should play it all down below. Turn it down because you can't hear me. But if I turn the gain all the way back, back to the middle point so you can probably can hear me again and I'm going to turn the gain all the way to the most sensitive so you may get a bit louder so that is at the highest gain sensitivity and just for this recording I'm going to put it back to the center so that's what the audio out of the Mono PM461S sounds like and because it's a cardioid microphone, it means that it will only accept sound incoming from the front from this side and it will reject all sound coming from the top and behind there. So let's see what it sounds like at rejecting those sounds from other directions. I'm going to slowly rotate the microphone and see what it sounds like. So I'm going to keep talking and keep talking and I'm actually now speaking into the back of the microphone. So it should have changed dramatically. So you shouldn't be able to hear me as clear or if at all, but um, sounds can be bouncing off the walls. So you probably can still hear me a little bit, but probably not as good as if I turn around the microphone this way. And I'm now speaking directly into the microphone. I've as I said about 20 centimeters away from it. How does that sound? So let me know in the comments below. And usually with these microphones, it's usually roughly about this sort of distance. That's the best sort of distance for speaking directly into it. But if I was to move a little bit further back, this is what it sounds like from probably about triple the distance that I was speaking to before. 
and if I go really closer it should actually get a little bit better and because of that pop mic it's gonna help with all those plosive sounds and things like that so you're not getting the popping piece sort of sounds coming out so let's compare the sound of this microphone to one of the sort of industry standards the Blue Yeti USB mic so let me plug that in and compare the audio and see what it sounds like so we're going to do a quick comparison of the Blue Yeti USB microphone, which I've got to my left, and the PM461S microphone, which I have to my right. So this audio is from the PM461S microphone. I'm about 30 centimeters away from the microphone. So how does that sound? Just let me know in the comments below. And this is the audio coming from the Blue Yeti USB microphone. I'm also about 30 centimeters away. So how does that sound in comparison to the PM461 microphone? I have adjusted the gain dials on both of them. So the sound sensitivity is roughly about the same. So this is what they both sound like and they both can go higher and both can go lower. But with the PM461 microphone, you can turn the gain so all the way down to zero so it's not hearing anything. While with the Blue Yeti, you can reduce it all the way down, but it does also have that mute button. So obviously only comparing these two microphones in their cardioid pattern as that's the only thing that the PM461 does, while the Blue Yeti has other patterns that it can go to. But for this comparison, we're only using the cardioid pattern. This microphone is an ideal option if you're looking for something that's budget and also aimed at beginners if you're looking to level up your current gear. But remember, this microphone doesn't have a headphone input, so you're not gonna be able to get that zero latency live monitoring of your audio. These are the specs of the microphone. I think the unedited sound quality sounds really good and comparable to the Blue Yeti in the same conditions. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound of this microphone. I'll leave a link to this microphone in the description below. And because this is a versatile USB microphone, you can plug it into not only your Mac like I've done, but you can plug it into your Windows PC. You can use it as a microphone for your phone with the appropriate adapter. If you do a lot of mobile studio work like I've done in the past, you can plug it into your PlayStation so you can participate in those group chats. But unfortunately, just like many other USB microphones, you can't plug it into an Xbox. But is this microphone for you? Are you someone who's looking for something that's at that entry level scale, which this firmly sits in, but don't let that low price put you off because it's well built, lightweight, it's easy to use. And I do like that pop filter that just pops onto the shop mounts. So if you enjoy podcasting, streaming, doing voiceovers or recording yourself playing instruments, then this cardioid condenser USB microphone is good for all those things, whether that be making YouTube videos and this sort of environment streaming on Twitch, video chatting on things like Zoom and Skype, and even playing your favorite games. Hopefully you've enjoyed the quality of the sound coming out of this PM461S USB microphone from Maono. Who I'd like to thank again for providing this microphone for me to test and review. It's greatly appreciated. If you've got any questions about this microphone, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Press that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you in the next one.